in this video i'm going to be showing you how to whiten someone's teeth using adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is cjam and here we are already in adobe photoshop with the photo of the person with their teeth that i'm going to whiten now just a disclaimer nothing is wrong with this person i'm just showing you a technique within photoshop just in case you may get asked to do this by a client of yours right so the first thing I'm going to be doing is hitting Ctrl and J to duplicate my layer and you'll see here that I got layer one right and then I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and then convert it to a smart object and now we can get started by hitting Ctrl shift and A for my camera raw options because I'm going to be using my camera raw tools to um, whiten her teeth now every technique to whiten someone's teeth in photoshop is based on color and there's no right or wrong way to do that right however you get it done you get the job done it doesn't matter so what i'm going to be doing is going here over to our masking options in photoshop 2023 and that's where we'll get the brand new people detection the person detection where photoshop detects a person within the photo now you see me just click on um, the person here and let me show it to you again you see it's right here photoshop detected the person then you click on person one and then you'll get some controls here you can control face body skin eyebrows and what we're looking for is teeth that's a new feature of photoshop 2023 and i'm just going to go ahead and click create now that i have the teeth selected let me just um zoom in here oops <laughs> all right there is the teeth that we're working with and what i can do now is this mask everything that we're doing here will only affect the teeth right so what i'm going to be doing i have a lot of controls here i can do exposure like so you see we're already looking better already i can do highlights right i can do whites if i wanted right but i'm not going to go too crazy then i can come down to temperature and make it a little bit cooler not all the way to minus 100 right <laughs> so we are at zero let's do like minus 10 that's fine and if you come down even more you can do saturation you can take out all the color or discolorations if you want but that will make it a little bit gray so you just have to do it with other moderation right so i'm just about there let's zoom out and see what we got right that's looking much better already and all I have to do now is just go ahead. Well, let me zoom back in for you guys. Let me just turn this off by hitting the eye. And you can see that's the before. This is the after. Before, after. And all I have to do to save my changes is click OK. And because we did it with the camera raw filter on the smart object layer, I can go ahead and turn it off and show you guys the before and after one more time by turning off the smart filters and turning them back on. And that's why I prefer to do it on a smart object using the camera raw filter because I can double click on it if I wanted to again. If I made a mistake or the color looks a little bit too perfect or too weird and I can go back in, go back to my mask, here's the teeth and I can make changes if I want. See that? That's why I like doing it this way. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever whitened someone's teeth in Photoshop? Have you ever been asked to do that by a client and didn't know how to do it? If so, how confident are you to get started doing that based on all that we've done here? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.